Welcome to this special announcement. Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à, à notre annoncement spécial du jour que je vais partager avec vous. Voilà, il y aura une, pers- une période de questions, so there will be a question period after a special announcement, so listen to the announcement till the end and then you can communicate with us to ask your questions. So, here, a quick introduction. I am Marie-France Dubreuil. Je suis Romain Aguenoël. And I'm Patrice Lozon. So, the three of us are head coaches to the International Ice Dance Center here in Montreal. And today, um, we've been together actually five years working here. And today, we feel so proud that we're taking our business and our coaching to a whole new level. And we are now announcing that from today, we will be called the ICE Academy of Montreal. Yes, so I, I continue <laughs> <laughs> with my poor English, sorry. <laughs> so the evolution of the coaching and choreography center into an academy signifies I am, ICE Academy of Montreal, is intention to building further coaching capacity and the expansion of its programming for both advanced competition level and developing skaters. Ice Academy of Montreal, I am, so, takes its inspiration from its roots in Montreal, where for the 2019-2020 season, more than 20 ice dance couples from 11 countries will prepare for global competition. A significant number of teams will also represent their country at the 2020 ISU World Figure Skating Championships held in March 2020 in our home city of Montreal. Uh, the ISU Academy of Montreal offers a different way of uh, teaching that uh, goes with true team coaching. That, that's what we try to implement. And we offer a coaching that is both mental and physical and involves a lot of psychology and it's what we try to bring to our skaters to make them evolve in every aspect of their own life. And with that, we're uh, in this renaming of the school, we structured a, a strategic partnership with Enland Consulting, which is Stephanie Young, that has been working with us for a while, but now we have a better structured uh, company which and uh, where she'll be able to help more of our students and be more where we can help every student to be better athletes and have a better life after sports and and be all around amazing people. <laughs> uh, in our uh, school, I'm gonna read their names, so there's a lot of people that works with us and I don't want to forget anybody. So our associate coaching team at IAM includes Pascal Denis, José Pichet, Benjamin Brisebois, Ginette Cornoyer, Samuel Chouinard, et Emily Josset, Daria Fusel, Eva Aira Petian, Jekyll and the staff of uh, SPC, Patrick McGee, and Premier Performance, and also James Michael Levy. Our administrator is uh, Frédéric Boucher. Together, the associate team covers all facets of high performance coaching, and each professional embodies the same commitment to excellence, and we look forward to a long, successful alliance with each of them. We are so proud of this name, I Am, as we feel it fully supports our vision to support the athletes and to keep pushing the sport forward, but offering an holistic, type of training that allows the athlete to develop technically, artistically, mentally, emotionally, and really bring the best out of them. And now with this academy, we will be able to actually spread this teaching wider and get a wider community in figure skating in this holistic Um, type of of mentoring and coaching. So this is it for an announcement. We are now, as of today, Ice Academy of Montreal and with the strong abbreviation, (laughs) IAM.
en in French, en français, l'Académie de glace de Montréal, puisque nous sommes au Québec. Et très fier d'être ici. We will now take uh, questions. Ou des questions en français si vous avez. Um, congratulations, everyone. Um, Patrice, can you tell us how will becoming an academy practically benefit the current and future students? Uh, the building an academy is to be able to offer those uh, people that actually athletes are training with us with future uh, roles and opportunities in, in the career. So we're going to start in, the, in spring. Uh, with uh, coaches' accreditation, so we can form and mentor more of our, of our students or form other uh, coaches, so that they can we can have more uh, coaches that can uh, that can represent us and work with us, and therefore expand and bigger our school. Uh, we would like to have uh, uh, a bigger field of students that we can range from the the beginning until the end. But uh, as of now. Where it's a, we're a little bit limited where coaching staff, but by doing this, we're going to be able to offer the athletes that are with us today uh, future jobs and future opportunities within our school or in our. Or to start their own school. Or to start their own school, and so that's what we're, our plans are. Thank you, Patrice. Roman, can you tell us are you, are you going to be expanding your coaching staff? Uh, yes, it's the, it's the plan because we, we, we want to extend the school and, uh, in Montreal, but also all over the world. And uh, uh, yes, it, it, it's, it's the plan. We have, uh, we have been teaching uh, for a long time, together five years, but individually a bit, a bit longer. And uh, we have a lot of students actually in all, of, or in all over the world who are teaching and who who are facing also the difficulties to start to teach, to create a center, and uh, by uh, our experience together and the way we are we manage uh, day by day here, we, we, we can help uh, them to, to, to become better and sooner. Thank you. Marie-France, are you, are you keeping the same facility at saint galbois and how will you support the expansion of IAM with limited ice time? We are staying in Gadbois. Um, <laughs> this is our, our home school. This is the mother school, the elite school. So this is not changing at all. Um, as the academy is expanding, then we'll probably have access to hopefully more ice uh, with the city of Montreal, but also it could be in other cities. So this is all to be determined as uh, our programs grow. And um, we'll be also offering seminars very soon. So make sure you visit us on our Facebook page to know when the inscriptions are and, and what's the, the next thing that will be available. Yes, the uh, seminars and uh, training centers and different programs that will be the first thing that we'll, we will be offering. Thank you. Can you also tell us what the outlook for the season ahead is and what you are excited about? I think the, the, <laughs> the season looks uh, amazing. Uh, I think we all of our students are in a great place right now. Uh, I think we have, they have amazing programs and the thing we're most excited with is the, having the world in Montreal. We're, uh, we're all going to be able to see all of our students compete where they train. I uh, think Montreal is going to have an amazing crowd. The people in Montreal are very, uh, like, they like sports a lot, so it's gonna, I'm sure it's going to be super loud. It's going to be a great event, and we can't wait. Will any of you step back to run this bigger academy? Um, no, at the present moment, we, I think we're not stepping back or <laughs> stepping forward with this. And uh, we have a team of professionals that will support us and help us and we'll be driving this with the same passion as we're driving the elite school. So uh, we're, we're just very inspired by this project and 
For now, we're not stepping back for sure. Some people are wondering if any of your earlier students might come back to teach at your academy. Yes, uh, of course, it's that we, we're open to that because when we, we when we teach uh, some skaters, and we teach them, of course, to be good on the ice, to be good at play, to perform, to win some medal, and uh, and part of this uh, could be like easy easy to transform as a coach. It's a bit like us yeah, because like, a long on. time ago we yeah. was the coach of Patrice and Marie yeah. France, and then, yeah. <laughs> even if I'm uh, the youngest. <laughs> you have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it's uh, it's true that we develop uh, by um, teaching uh, some skaters. We develop a relationship in the technical part, artistic part, and also the, the trust together. And uh, and I think it we're very open to to. Like uh, a student or pure student who would like to become a coach to to be part of uh, yes. I am. Are you considering a boarding school for international juniors with an arrangement with a local high school? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> um, it's a possibility. We have not yet talked about. Um, Schools, or but it's true that we do have juniors and uh, and younger kids that do have arrangement with schools around Montreal. There is a couple of schools, French and English, that are actually open to um, to help athletes get what they need at school, plus give them more time to train. So uh, it's always arrangement that we've been able to have so far without having like an official school. Um, arrangement but it's it's more than possible that it, it could happen in the near future yeah and yes and right now we're very open to new opportunities it's one of the main reasons of creating this new academy is that in the in the past the way our school was was uh, formed and and or in running we were very uh limited and by the amount of uh, skaters we could take we had many demands and that we had visions for uh, growing bigger and uh, taking kids from all over the, the range, from beginners to high level athletes. But we're with the structure that we have, we can afford that. We can, like, we were too uh, busy already. So, with this new uh, academy, that's uh, exactly your goal is to expand and, and reach further and, and impact more people. So, it would, we, for now, are open to any possibilities. Will you also be going on the road, meaning will you conduct seminars in other countries, like in Europe, in Asia, in Australia? Yes, again, that's it. it's exactly your goal, is to either through helping uh, uh, former students or coaches that we, um, that we form, or accredit uh, through accreditations, or, or performing se seminars, and like it, all of that is just stuff that we want to do. So seminars, helping people set up their own school, and any other ways we can uh, contribute. contribute to the sports. Okay. I think this is yeah. it for now. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for watching today. Uh, make sure you visit our Facebook page because the kids are starting, our skaters are starting their competitive season, so they will be uploading videos and we'll be posting news and results. And, uh, and so, yeah, stay a part of our community and visit our Facebook page as much as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.